You got one more time. Try that shit. You got one more time. Ain't no mind on TV. One more time. Ain't no mind on TV. 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 Ain't Basically, the question you just asked me, man, about, you know what I'm saying, years ago, when I was coming up, it, it, it was like all over the spots, like East Point, College Park, you know, different places, Decatur, you know, it went music on the west side of Atlanta. I think, you know what I'm saying, I was like, you know, I don't like to brag, brag on my old life, you know what I'm saying, but I was I was a large drug dealer in the streets. Like, you know, I came from nothing. My mama was on drug, my daddy was there as well. So it was, that was what I had to do to, eat, to get my money, to get my food, you know what I'm saying, to feed my, my guys who be with me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I first started hearing like rap, like when I think when, uh, I think T.I., when T.I. came about and, uh, and he was hollering bankhead and all this and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn. And, I, and I, when I hit Jeezy, you know what I'm saying, niggas from the street, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, niggas like, like this, you know what I'm saying, talking about the stuff like what I live, you know what I'm saying? So that made me feel like I could do it, you know? I went on rap at first, you know, like, I still, I, I tried to rap myself in 2006 when I came home from prison. In 2005, you know what I'm saying, the first song I ever wrote was I'm the Man. Mm -hmm. And I did that song, people used to come up to me like, Shaw Lowe. That's the type of music that I didn't want to hear from you. We know you live it for real. We know you bank it for real. And like in the back of my in the back of my head, I thought I did about look. But I just kept recording. Mess with DJ like DJ T Rock did the mix uh mix scene with DJ Scream. And the rest been history since then, you know. No, I can't I can't be nobody else, you know what I'm saying? I really about my life, you know what I'm saying? I really my click, my group, man. You see, he right there, man, coach no sign guy. He for real, we in him. Okay. He on him. Right. go way before it was music. We, okay. You know, Deep Will go back. We were no no gang, you know what I'm saying? But we, we was a, a crew, crew of niggas like in the street. I always, uh, we call ourselves Deep Will, that means down for life. Mm -hmm. When I started the music around 2003, I said, uh, I mean, Bresky was asking me, like, look what was going on. Not at Bresky, I said, Bresky, what you think we should call ourselves? And I was saying, making them come tonight. He was like, you might as well call ourselves, we call ourselves in the hood. Be for hell. So I transferred the name. And you know, people just be laughing at first, you know what I'm saying? I didn't let man low. You know what I'm saying? They, they seem so big in the street to get money in the, in the, in the drug game. Mm -hmm. okay, they get a, but I went and got rappers I knew who not a rep for different projects. I went and got like Mook B. You know, he was from a Harrison Ball. Lil Mug, he was with the City Boys, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Uh, Stuntman, he from Hollywood Coke, you know what I'm saying? I got Fabo. And you know what I'm saying? I fought, I fought the team. And, yeah. and I used to be back then, like uh, 2000, 2003, 2004. I used to be throwing mine, doing all that way. You see these rebels doing that? Mm -hmm. I've been doing it, you know what I'm saying? Been doing it at all the clubs, like the 321, the Bounce. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I've been doing. And you know, just, you know, I elevated to the real thing. Uh, the D4L, a group where they synonymous was bringing snap music, that whole movement. Was, was that the group that did that? You may, it just happened like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you when something happened, you you just roll with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just roll with it. Like, you know, when Fable had the dance and stuff, you know, and um, 
Yeah, yeah. 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 the snap sound was in the song that the dude, uh, one of my producers made, DJ Poo did, so we uh, called it snap music. Okay. That's how it came about, but you know, people thought that what it was, like uh, dancing and woo woo, that's what they thought you feel was about. Mm -hmm. I guess too, I came along when I used to get my DVD, they yeah. did a story, yeah. and they sent the real song along, and they would make people spit. Has it always been in the music, you think? Hmm? Like a dance element has always been there, and not just you, but... In the song, you know, that was, that was the music in the song feel. the bass music. Um, who's some of the first cats you heard doing bass come out of left? Uh, probably like uh, Kilo, uh, Raheem and Dream. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm Kilo come from my same project. Okay. Home. Really? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So do you, I guess you use a lot of that as your influences to the stuff you do now. Yeah, believe that. You know what I'm saying? Kilo, you know, he, he's a real big influence on my music. You know what I'm saying? If you were to listen to Go back and listen to this music and hear some of my music right today, you know what I'm saying? It's big and full. Yeah. How would you describe your music? I know it's street and it's bass. People think, when you hear bass music, they think of something. Smoke, smoke, you know what I'm saying? I rap smoke, baby. I take my time. I ain't want no rebel. They just come out of freestyle and do all that. No, I write it down, but I make sure it be right. Mm -hmm. I ain't though, you know what I'm saying? My music comes straight from the street, it's comes straight from the heart. Yeah. I really live it, man. You see where we at right now? You don't think it. Yeah. Real. Okay. All right. Tell me about the uh, the G Unit situation. I mean, a lot of people saw it. Damn, how'd that go about? Well, you know, it, it happened, you know what I'm saying? I had a couple of memes, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, me to sit with one of those memes on my list, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got told you know, a lot of people, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of uh, bloggers, you know what I'm saying? They ask questions, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I said, I don't care if they offer me five or ten times more than switch. Uh, I'm sitting off of me, man. I'm going to sound with 50. I need, I need muscle behind me because, you know, I know I'm muscle down here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like he's a major power with him, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a good, you know what I'm saying? He's a good thing, man. Yeah. That's how you do it. Okay. Get it, man. Shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? I got I to, gotta, I'm in the, I'm on the expressway, man. I'm all the way in the far, far lane. I'm in the bad lane. Okay. 200 on the dead. Got them mess. Okay. Messing on y'all nigga ass. Uh Basically, uh, only I feel like I came to the CEO because I guess um, I had the street money to, 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 to do it and I wasn't trying to be a rapper. But I was trying to do work with the man behind the scenes first. Mm -hmm. so, like, I was forced to be a rapper. Okay. Like, she made me be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like, as I did that one song on a man. Yeah. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? The number one bill is this man on sale, you know. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Alright. Done, done. Alright. Yeah, man, it's pushed out there, little man. It's a introduction, man. My group, Coach No Sign Gang, BHF, Dead Bill, man. Yeah, we out here. Rest in peace, man. Stunt, man. Keith out. Keith out. We in this bitch. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.